Michigan's marriage ban is unconstitutional. Oklahoma groups fight back in court against an anti-gay group making misleading claims about children. A pro-equality ruling is delayed pending appeal, but another is put into place as of now. We have some important hearings coming up very soon, and pro-equality Republicans hang on to their seats in a tight election. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for March 24th, 2014. Michigan's marriage ban violates the Equal Protection Clause of the U.S. Constitution. It's the latest in a string of legal victories following Virginia, Utah, Oklahoma, and more. Judge Bernard Friedman also had strong words for anti-gay researcher Mark Regnerus, who claimed to have data showing that marriage equality harms kids. Regnerus's testimony in the trial was entirely unbelievable, Friedman wrote, and not worthy of serious consideration. Marriage can't start yet pending a likely appeal. In all of the states where we've won, litigation and growing public support are chipping away at marriage bans. Now our adversaries are trying to delay our inevitable final win, and they're having limited success. Earlier this year, a federal judge in Oklahoma ruled that the state's marriage ban is unconstitutional. In response, the anti-gay ADF filed a brief claiming that marriage equality harms children. Our opponents tried to make the same case back in the Prop 8 trial, but they couldn't cite any evidence. And now, in Oklahoma, the plaintiff couples have filed a new brief that completely refutes the ADF's claims. And that's just the start of new filings in the last few days. In Kentucky, Governor Steve Beshear asked a district court to delay implementation of a ruling that the state must recognize out-of-state marriage licenses. The court granted his request, which means that now couples will have to wait for the appeals process to run its course before they can be recognized. Tennessee made a similar request, but last week that one was denied. As a result, the state must now recognize out-of-state marriages, but only for the three plaintiff couples in the case. In Arkansas, both sides have requested summary judgment in a suit filed in state court. They'll have a hearing to settle that issue on April 17th. And in Wisconsin, state lawyers have asked the court to dismiss a suit over that state's marriage ban. They claim that the law doesn't nullify out-of-state licenses, it just ignores that they exist, which is somehow different. We'll have a date for oral arguments in the AFER's Virginia case. It's Tuesday, May 13th at 9.30 at the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals in Richmond. And two states are launching new marriage equality campaigns. Last week saw the unveiling of Utah Unites for Equality and Wyoming Unites for Equality. And finally this week, three pro-equality Republicans were up for re-election in Illinois. There were concerns that their support for marriage equality could hurt them, but two won by a wide margin and a third is in a narrow lead. Those are the headlines. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay up to date on all those stories. And remember to share this video to get the word out about those upcoming court dates. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.